50 years since COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic, there are still tens of thousands of Australians trying to return home from overseas. People who are stuck across South America are finding it especially difficult to get back. Here's political reporter Jade McMillan. Exhausted but happy to finally be home. Around 120 Australians touched down in Sydney after a charter flight from Chile's capital, Santiago. Luz Thomas made her own trip from Melbourne, desperate to catch a glimpse of her mother, who's been stranded in Peru. She went over there because my mother, or grandmother passed away. So then, since then, she's been stuck. The flight was organised by a small team of travel agents in New Zealand, who worked day and night to make it happen. We underwrote the cost of this flight for half a million US dollars, which was uh, particularly scary. Um, it's a big risk to take, but um, we knew that the demand was there. State arrivals caps are limiting the number of returnees each week, but Australians stuck in South American countries say they've been further hampered by internal border closures and a lack of flight options. It was really stressful for me, getting cancelled all the time, packing my bags. Annalisa Powell and her partner recently made it home to Perth from Brazil, just weeks before she's due to give birth. It was really important for me to be in a place that's uh, safer and closer to my family. There are still around 40,000 Australians registered as wanting to return home, and around 1,000 of them are believed to be in South America. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade says it's assisted with hundreds of flights from around the world, and that its top priority is helping people who are vulnerable. Jade McMillan, ABC News, Canberra.